All right, hello everyone, here we are. I'm gonna set my bag up for hole number four. Not sure what I wanna do yet, so I'm gonna just put on, I'd like for the wind not to be too much of a tailwind, and let me go for a driver shot, which would, which would really make things a lot easier on this hole if we can do this. So this is kind of what I'm hoping for. Um, let's just see, and sure enough, there we are. So, um, either a quasar ball or a oh you know what i don't have enough backspin <laughs> you need a qb9 and i only have a qb8 however i still like this shot if i can set up a little bit more towards min as you can see uh, four backspin will be okay it just kind of it just you, you can see how the way that you need to land on the on that face there is you know just a little bit tricky um, this is the shot that i like other than the fact that uh, the course is glitching on me <laughs> so i had to had to end up rushing there i think i under pulled rings so what i tried to do was i tried to compensate and you can see it's coming up just a little bit short you'll have to be a little bit careful that's why you want a quarterback that has just a little bit more backspin. So if, if you see something that has a little bit more backspin, um, it would be nice to do. Now, granted, you can go for this shot, but the reason that I don't like it is it brings in the bunker too much. It's a little bit safer if you have a QB9. Uh, another thing you can do is a rocket. So since I don't have the backspin here, what I recommend is switching to the rocket and landing up here with curl. So that's going to be the way that I recommend doing this. Um, you're really going to want that high backspin shot. And uh, that's what I recommend doing because this shot right here is fairly tricky. You'll see that uh, you'll have to get very aggressive with the bunker. And I've already seen a lot. Of, I think I've seen three out of four opponents go in the sand so far. Um, however, this is a win that... Um, you know, there's no reason to hit the bunker for this wind because the the wind's kind of pulling away. But what's going to end up happening is just everybody's going to miss left. So just how you just saw my opponent do that, um, that's where I'd expect pretty much everyone to, uh, to basically leave it here. So I'm right about half club here, which I typically play. Uh, I'm going to go for the dunk here. And it's only going to be about two rings or so. So very small adjustment, somewhere in there, right around two rings. And just make sure that you're very centered with the ball guide there. And you can see, pop it in, uh, easy birdie. So I'm not going to play this out, but uh, just wanted to go ahead and show you that shot just in case, uh, you know, you need it or... Wanted to see that. Um, the, the most important thing when you're going for dunk is making sure that you put that ball exactly in the center. It's very, very important. It's just as important as ring play is. So keep that in mind. Good luck, and I'll see you guys on five coming up. 